the way to the train station to drop off. Look at that hair. Let them see your hair. Does it spray your, your braids? Sure. Your hair situation. Oh, so I got small nose braids and then it was like a blue brown. So my hair is like lighter now. It's like brown, dark brown at the top and then lighter at the ends. Okay, and we'll, um, does she, does she have an Instagram or anything? Uh, it's at Hair by Shells on Instagram. Okay, so if you local, definitely check her out. I'll put it on the screen and link it down below. And, um, all right. And she does a really good job. All right. All right, well. <laughs> how many hours of sleep did you get, my love? One. Okay. Basically none. All right, so. Oh, to be young and in college. So, see how vibrant she looks after only one hour of sleep? Yeah, I would be on the floor. Brows are given this morning, but you know, they're still a little aggressive. So. Nice. So, okay then, guys. Tell her to give me this train station. Okay, bye. All right, y'all, we walking her down. My baby. <laughs> in the train station. All right. I love you, be careful, you too. Cause when you get that prayer, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray that she gets saved. That's saving her, her home and danger. Sit beside somebody good, love you, no COVID. All right, see ya. All right, ladies and gents, the boo is off at, she's going on back. Um, it takes about an hour on the train because it stops at all the little towns. If um, it was like a direct train, like no stops, you'd probably get there in about 45 minutes. Um, and the car is like an hour and a half, so on the train it's like an hour, um, about hour and ten minutes on the train. But anyway, um, so we did that. She's gone. She's not supposed to be back until Thanksgiving. Her sister Jada is going down there for um, Aggie Fest. If you are a, well, I'm sorry, it's not called Aggie Fest anymore. It's called Jiho. If you are local, or even if you know. HBCUs, I'm sure you know about North Carolina A&T State University. Son graduated from A&T and his girlfriend. And Jordan goes to UNCG. I went to Bennett College, which is across the street. So, anyway. <laughs> um, Jordan goes to UNCG, which is down the street. So, she still take part in the HBCU festivities. So, Jada is going down there. Halloween weekend. Or, I don't know. The next weekend, whenever it is, so Jada will see her, but she shouldn't be back to home for thanks until Thanksgiving. So we say, I am going to the post office. I need to mail something, and we have really. I tell people I'm gonna start writing letters. Would you? Would you guys like that? <laughs> if you send me a letter, I'll send you one back. How about that? I like lit. I like to get mail. So I'm gonna um I got something to mail and then y'all I gotta go to Walmart. I'm not gonna be able to vlog in there because I gotta pay attention. Cause you know, people in Walmart, I be done got into a fight. God please help me right now in the name of Jesus. Cause Walmart is 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 way too far. I don't, I can tell you last time I went to Walmart now. Husband, he loved a Walmart, especially a super Walmart on the traps on the town. He loved it. And he liked to go at nighttime. I don't, I don't get it. You know, you want to go to Walmart? No, I don't want to go no dog on Walmart. <sighs> Anywho, um, but I got to go to Walmart. Something there that I need is not at freaking Target. So I need to go to Walmart, and then while I'm there, I'm going to a super Walmart, so I, I probably would pick up groceries while I'm there. Might as well. But I'm going to be paying attention, getting in and out, so I will not be vlogging because, because, you know, somebody tried to, okay, I ain't going to get myself keyed up. So I will pick you guys probably back up when I'm at home and um, see what else is on the agenda. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Here we go. <clears throat> Hi. Right. Okay, here we go. Yeah. I thought I would call y'all back <laughs> after my chapter meeting. So, 
yeah, I had a meeting, um, a chapter meeting. I finished it. It was two hours. It was supposed to be an hour. It was two hours. And we're eating taco dip just for a snack. I made it. The um, taco dip that you saw in the mukbang, which should be um, linked down below if you haven't watched it. But I had a taste for it again today, so I made it. Um, Because I'm not cooking dinner. So it's whatever. Get us that per usual right because I didn't cook them. But, um, so we're about to watch, see if we can watch Project Runway, the new season, the second episode. Get it now. Honey's watching my car. He gonna see that, um, rim scrape that I showed, that I told y'all about. So I'm sure he gonna have strong words for me in a few minutes. But, um, anywho, that's all we doing. Not too much. Been all week. I needed prayer. <laughs> Getting up six thirty in the morning, go get this. I needed, I needed prayer to go to prayer. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Getting up six. He took them off. Verse forty. Then he took his staff. And I think I want to deal with this. These these clothes don't fit. All right. These clothes. Don't fit. This David in his tonic. He put a coat of armor on David and brass helmet on his head. Mm -hmm. David fastened the sword of his tonic and tried walking around in his new clothes. But because he was not used to those clothes, David said, I cannot go in these. He said to Saul, because I'm not used to them. So he took them off. Hey y'all, welcome back to the vlog. So today is Sunday and I took you guys to church with me. Um, gave you a little snapshot of that. But church was really good today. It really, it, it really fed my soul um, today. It always does, but you know how certain days you just need a little extra. Um, today was one of those days and it really, really fed my soul. I wanted to share something with you guys and I usually go into detail um, about scriptures and God and things like that on the podcast. But you know what? We're just going to give it here um, as well. But and, you know, if this is not your judge, if this is something that you don't want to hear, you can just speed through. I hope that you wouldn't. But, you know, to each their own. No, no judgments. But I wanted to share something really quickly that um, our pastor, Bishop Ellis, said um, when he was preaching, he said that consistency in God is the key to success. And that really resonated with me because here, you know, I'm trying to grow my channel. I'm trying to grow a business. You know, I'm trying to grow in a lot of areas and you ask anybody on YouTube, how do you grow? Or Instagram, how do you grow? You know, all of our favorites have done Q&As, how to, grow, how to grow your social media business. And the number one thing that people say is what? Consistency. So when he said that, I kind of perked up. But it's consistency in God. Because the Bible tells us that God gives us the ability to gain wealth. And I think I shared that in another vlog. That was a Bible verse that spoke to me. So I'm just going to take heed to what God is trying to tell me in order for me. And this is Benita. This is what he's telling me. If it applies to you, take it. But for me, he's saying, yes, you need to be consistent in all of your platforms, in your business, in YouTube, on Instagram be consistent if you want to grow but the first place you definitely need to be consistent is with me really need to center myself when I first get up and how I do that is prayer and not only praying for myself but I need to continue to pray for others you know because I can get selfish and just really just focus on the things that I need and the things that I want God to do for me but 
God has also given me the ability to pray and help others. So I definitely need to do that. So consistency and everything is key. But for me, and I think the number one place that I need to start being more consistent is in God and then everything else will filter down. All right, so yesterday you saw that I went to a chapter meeting and we're still doing virtual meetings. Well, we are about to do like hybrids. So if people want to meet face to face, they can. And if you still feel uncomfortable and you want to meet hybrid, we're still going to have the capabilities of, you know, um, batching people in via Zoom. But in the meeting, they said that we are being kind of behind on our volunteer hours. We have to have X amount of volunteer hours. We just commit to that as a chapter to do you know volunteerism so we need to do that so i'm going to yesterday we had a presentation on dress for success helping women with their um business skills so that's something that i think i may want to um contribute and then secondly it's breast cancer awareness month for october we're gonna do it's the walk so i'm getting ready to register because it's next Saturday. I've been meaning to register for the past two weeks, but I haven't been consistent. So I need to um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff and see if I can register. And then that is about it. Jada is participating in the debutante ball um to her chagrin, she doesn't want to, but again, you're gonna do it. Um, it's a scholarship, a way of getting scholarships for college, and it's a tradition in our family to do that. So I feel like I mentioned that here before, but she's doing it, so, she, so the process has begun. So they have a meeting. She has a little birthday shindig that she's trying to go to later on. But for me, I'm gonna be just here, um, home I don't have anything else to do for the day and Jada you up here do you want to say hey to the vlog okay she wants to say to the vlog today you know so that's pretty much it so anything else I do I will pop you guys in and then I say I, I probably need to try to walk it feels really good outside it's only like 55 degrees because I haven't I didn't exercise yesterday um, I didn't. I was up and out with these kids, getting Jordan back, and she made it safely, thank goodness, back um, to school, so she's there. So I didn't exercise, so I probably need to do that. Okay, so we in hot dogs bar. I'm not getting Jada. Okay, good. <clears throat> so Jada is eating, though. It's like she's talking about I don't cook. I mean, I don't cook what she wants. But there is food. When I don't cook, there's still food provided. That's the thing. That's what Beyonce said. I'm just full of brass. I'm going to do a five course meal every day. Hey y'all, I'm coming at you from the school supply closet. So I'm going to make this quick, but I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog because I'm going to do a bit of work. Jada is, Jada um, left. She went to that party. I was telling you about my husband um, took her because it's one of her friends, it's a guy, but she said they're just friends, so whatever. Um, he always comes to her little gatherings whenever she have a birthday party or whatever, he always shows up. And actually he was her prom date um, this past year, so she said they're just friends, so. We're gonna leave it at that. He lives away from us out in a rural area, probably about 30, 40 minutes, so my husband's gonna take her. You know, she can drive, she has her car, she can drive, but. You know, he gets a little tricky when, because, you know, people are so mean. You know, he gets a little overprotective over me and the girls when we're out by ourselves too long and too late. So, he, um, he's going to drive her. But anyway, so, I wanted to come and tell you guys. Let me see if I can get down here. I got down on my knees. I want to tell you guys that I am going to go ahead and sell my Fendi Mama Zuka baguette bag and I'm gonna sell it through the real real now listen we talked about the real real I have a video I will link it here in the cards or either down below about the real real about things you need to consider before you shop with them um 
but I'm going to sell. They're really good consignment. Like if you have things that you want to consign with them, they really encourage consigners. Um, I saw a couple of videos where people consign with them pretty much every month or every few months and they make pretty good money. So they like the whole consignment aspect um, for their customers. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would definitely check them out. Um, of course you can do, you can sell your things to Fashion File, but I don't think Fashion File um, gets too much in heavily involved in the consigning portion. They'll take, you can sell with them, but they go out and source their own things. I think the real, real, I don't wanna say depend upon or rely on, but a heavy portion of their business is things that we sell back to them. I'm gonna go ahead and send this off probably tomorrow, so I'm packaging it. I have my little code, I mean, I wanna show it. But it was it was very easy. I printed out my little code. It's gonna be through UPS and they can UPS can come pick it up if they want. So I may do that. But I'm going to the studio tomorrow so I can probably just drop it off because there is a UPS store um, by me. They give you your consignment packing list because they asked me is there anything else I want to consign. So they're looking for like they wanted me to have a box full of items to put in there, but I only have the one bag. They do high streak and temporary, like Michael Kors, and they do it all. Kate Spade, Coach, you know, they do contemporary items too. It doesn't have to be like top tier luxury, they do it all. And we know some of the skeptical things have popped up as it relates to the real, real selling um, and authentic items, but my Fendi bag is authentic and I, so if you if you go and try to buy and you see it up there just know that it is because i'm gonna also include the um authentic certificate that i have i printed it out i'm going to send it so they don't have to guess if my mess is real or not because you know we're not playing those games and i have any clearly i'm just putting i'm trying to see right there authentic one I'll let you guys know the process, how it goes. So I'm just going to ship this off tomorrow. Once they get it, I guess they got to confirm what it is and then they'll send me my cash. The only thing I need to ask, I need to call, do I get paid before it sells or do I get paid after it sells? That's the only thing. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead, like I said, go ahead and end so I can edit this vlog and put it up. And again, I know you guys are looking at my eyebrows. They are healing. They're healing fine. I'm let you come up close and let you look at them. They're still kind of, you know, dark, but they're gonna they're starting to scab. This one is starting to get dry and scabby already. I don't know if you can tell. I have a scab in there. And then they're gonna peel off. And when they peel, that's when that top layer comes off and the true color is underneath. That's why they're gonna look darker and less aggressive. I promise. I got it probably about another couple of days looking right and then um I'll start looking back to normal. So bear with me. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching. I really do. Thank you for all your support and your kind, your kindness as um, it relates to Vlogtober. Because I know some vlogs have been longer than others. Some vlogs have been boring. Some vlogs have been fun. Some vlogs have been all over the place. Some vlogs have just been me in the car. So I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. <music>